I bought this tiered wooden tray from HomeSense back in summer and I spray paint it to white because the wood tones doesn't go in my home. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your day so far. We are decorating my coffee bar area today and this is a marathon video. Pause it, go get yourself a nice cozy drink and enjoy the rest of the video. Pistachio flavored cakes are from TK Maxx and this jar pumpkin jar is from home bargains i believe i bought it last year i love the white look in my tea tray and this mug from an etsy shop that i bought from instagram it's too cute to use so i'm using it only for decoration if you're giving me your love, giving me your this glass bottle is new and I'm gonna be using it for my pumpkin spice syrup as soon as I buy it. Small pumpkin jar is an online purchase and the company called Pretty Little Home. And this DIY pumpkin is housing all my vitamin sachets. you wanna do these mugs are from home bargains they are very difficult to drink from because they have a lip on top which makes it very difficult to sip but i use it as props really on this tray i enjoyed my vitamins with cold water in summer and now i'm drinking it with hot water i want to stay with you another DIY that I've done last year I really want to use these DIY beads somehow let's see if I can manage Let me light a candle, then I will show you what I've done. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing. Thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. I've been running circles. I made so many different coffee bar areas full of ideas and I'm going to join all my videos together for you to see and get inspiration from. I hope you would enjoy the rest of the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. I've been staying up all night Everything I ever worked for Vanished in the blink of an eye I get so caught up in the middle thinking Decorating my coffee bar for every season gives me perfect opportunity to do a deep clean. After cleaning, I came up with two styles for you to get inspiration from. I hope you enjoy. That I die, I can hide. 
Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your Sunday so far. And if you're new, visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Shule and I really love decorating my home and sharing what I know in relaxing, inspirational videos. This one is part of a challenge which is my favorite one, seasonal, and this one is called Four Coffee Beverage Bar Collab 2021 and is hosted by lovely Kimberly and her co-host is Kenya as always. They are great decorators by any chance. If you are not familiar with their channels, definitely go and check them out. The link is going to be in my description box below. My first one going to have this gorgeous, gorgeous board it's a cutting board i changed it up and this one is called purple glam this one was wood i gave it a white wash using sparkly white spray paint and this one is from hobby crafts i'm into jars fall related jars this season and this one is from home sense and i place individually wrapped cake and i have only one left i need to stock it up fall related mugs are very very difficult i found these ones luckily in home bargains and they were in different colors black orange and white i managed to find white in two visits one on each time I don't remember where I bought this one but look at the color first of all I bought it for its color and also I really love Moran here you go I turned the lights off so you can see how beautiful the color is if you are enjoying the content so far please do subscribe as I have so many more inspirational fall related videos and i will start doing christmas diys as well soon i cannot wait to have you as part of my star my colors family on the shorter version i will be using a gift from my son's Japanese girlfriend and it is the yummiest cookies ever and they are individually wrapped thank you so much Ria I'm really enjoying my cookies she was visiting us in Turkey for a week and this is when she gave me these cookies along with other presents and I kept some of these cookies for this coffee bar especially. These jars look good but you have to have individually wrapped treats otherwise it's not airtight so they go bad quickly. This sparkly purple spoon set is from AliExpress and I bought four of them specifically for my coffee bar. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day and I'm still so amazed by you. Almost done, now I'm going to give you a close-up look as soon as I add some pumpkins on top of the coffee machine. 
I use same spray paint with this board and it coordinates beautifully first purple then pink sparkly spray give that iridescent color and here it is my style number one purple glam I just feel so lucky For my second style, I'll be using this sign and the mirror frame is broken unfortunately in the corner so I'm going to disguise it somehow. This cake stand is from Turkey, I really love it and for my napkins I will be using this Poundland lantern, it is a pumpkin slit in the middle and the napkins are from TK Maxx I believe. I told you I'm all about jars this fall season and I will be using my spoons, lavender and honey spoons inside this one. I just feel so lucky will be using the same mugs as I don't have any more fall related ones and spoons again going well with this scheme and this one probably some of you will remember from my haul I bought it from Turkey and turned it into my style and my colors jars this one is from a company via Instagram and this one was all the way from Japan few years ago and I obviously spray painted to match the other one as well I filled it up with mini marshmallows from the B&M stores for cozy drinks such as hot chocolates and here is my style number two I added my full cake as well because it goes so well in this color scheme Was it star number one, purple glam or more glam star number two? Which one was your favorite? You know how much I love reading your comments. I'm done, but you're not done yet. Playlist going to be in my description box below for more inspiration for your coffee bars. I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye. This is probably one of my favorite areas to decorate each season and sometimes more than once and this is my second fall look and I prepared two and a half stars for you. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you are well and enjoying your day so far and if you're new and I know many of you are as many of you joined me this week Hello, my name is Shule and I really love decorating my home using happy colors and glam style. I love sharing my love of color on this platform and I really love building friendships, sisterships with my viewers and they are all around the world. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I love reading your comments, I love your support, I love that you love my colors as well, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. In today's video, I'm super excited to participate on another coffee bar challenge hosted by lovely Kimberly over at Diva Design in Onodime as well as 
lovely Kenya over at the Kenya's Deco Corner and this one is for fall 2020. Thank you so much Kimberly and Kenya as always I really enjoyed participating and if any of you are not familiar with their channels their links will be in my description box you definitely need to go and check them out and subscribe while you're at it. In my previous videos I already told you that I am really drawn to iridescent colors this year so when I saw this beautiful iridescent toothbrush holder at home sense I thought it would be perfect on my coffee bar area. I'm grouping them with these tea light holders that's also iridescent and they are from Danelm and the candles succulent looking candles are from Target and this is another DIY that I've done this year turn this orange pumpkin pot from Sainsbury's that I bought last year to my favorite color in iridescent tone. And of course I had to use my iridescent mugs on the second shelf to go with the rest of my iridescent items. These mini tree dishes are from HomeSense and even though they are completely different countries' products, they match perfectly. Recently, I found another tea light candle that is iridescent, and this one is from BM Stores, and three of them were only two pounds. I placed some sweets in it but i couldn't find any color coordinating so yellow has to do on this occasion on the bottom shelf i'm going to start with this poundland candle holder that i bought last year this was also from poundland it used to be gold and I use two spray or actually three. I use silver, I use purple, then I topped it up with iridescent pink. The lighting is not doing any justice. It looks beautiful in real life. This is also another DIY. It used to be cremated bottom and brown on the top and I bought it from a dollar store or yen store in Japan last year. I'll be using this beautiful very glam dish or bowl from HomeSense that I picked last year during Christmas and I'll be placing some treats in their packages so it doesn't go off and this one I believe it is from Lidl and I also have some brownies that I brought back from Turkey And for the seasonal touch, I will be using one of my favorite little DIY pumpkins that I made a couple of years ago. And here's the completed look for style number one. And our coffee machine was a gift from our sons and it's from Amazon. 
happy pumpkin season was a google image that i changed the color and also the frame is from homesense And I have two versions of the second style and this one is the minimalist one. pink jar and the bottle are from HomeSense and this little beauty which is perfectly matching color wise is from Japan again from the same dollar store and my sign is from Hobby Lobby I intended to do only two styles but when I completed this look I thought it was a bit bare so I had to do the maximalist version as well. But if you are minimalist and less is more kind of person I'm sure you will love this one. I place some additional fall items next to my cozy candle that is from HomeSense and I kept this area similar except switching this uh, beautiful pumpkin and I added mirror tray at the bottom to fill up the space so it doesn't feel bare to my eyes and I added this very cute mini treat stand from Turkey and I place some additional fall items in it. My IKEA mug is matching perfectly with the rest of the items. And unfortunately in England it is very very difficult to find any mug that is fall or autumn related. So the big question is was it number one? or star number two with the minimalist look or star number two with the maximalist look which one appealed to you the most you know how much i love reading your comments please do leave your comments and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own cover bar area and don't forget to watch the playlist i'm sure it's going to be filled with gorgeous gorgeous coffee bar areas for more inspiration and until the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye here in england we need to be more resourceful when it comes to signs to decorate our homes with i have seen the home decor shops in america and you guys are so so lucky even in hobby lobby alone you can find tons of stuff for any occasion so i designed mine using google images and some typography and made sh two shades of my favorite color and it says pumpkin spice everything nice hi 
everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello my name is Shule and I love home decor I love anything and everything to do with home and home decor so if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and in today's video I am participating in a collab called fall coffee bar station or beverage station so uh, the hosts are lovely Kimberly already diva designing on a time and her co-host this month is Kenya's home decor so Kenya and Kimberly have beautiful homes and they have really good sense of decoration so if you don't know their channels I'm going to leave links below so you can go and check them out For my first style I'm using a vanity mirror tray from HomeSense then I'm going to fill up these jars both of them are from HomeSense with lovely yummy stuff to eat I bought it from HomeSense and look at the lilac color it's just beautiful The second one I will be using for decoration and I'm going to place my mini pumpkins that I decorated last year. This candle holder is from Marshalls, it's crystal and I really love it but instead of using this side I'm using it upside down because otherwise my dome is not going to fit. This iridescent pink uh, candle holder is from Home Bargains but instead of as using it as a candle I'm using it as a spoon holder and I'm placing my newly bought hazelnut as well as honey spoons and this honey spoon is actually for tea I never seen them before and I just had to have it because I love lemon and I love honey And I'm also placing this mini cake stand with cookies as well as chocolates on and it's the perfect color and this one was gold and I spray painted I bought it last year from Poundland to finish the look I'm having this beautiful mug over at my coffee maker and now I'm going to show you what I've done closely and the sign is from Hobby Lobby and to this date in England I still couldn't find any coffee related signs and here's star number one And for my second style I'm using this slate tray from Danelm and it was only £5 in the summer clearance. And I start with the greenery, I'm using this freshly painted succulent plants, I'm going to share that in another video how I've done it and it's on a, a bunny pot but I'm using it the other side because it's the perfect colour for this station. And I saw this in Home Sense. I had to have it. It's pumpkin spice latte and it really really smells like pumpkin spice latte. So I'm going to light it in a minute but it smells absolutely gorgeous. If you've been with me for a while you know that this spoon holder is from a Starbucks in Florida and this mug is from Turkey and it says my style my colors mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to quickly replace the sign into a darker shade of purple as it goes better with this style. And here's my style number two and the colors goes perfectly with my mosaic tiles. Thank you so much Kenya and Kimberly for the open invite and I really enjoyed participating because I love decorating my coffee station for different seasons. recording the video this is the style I decided to have I have my two jars and both of them have food in it and I'm using my mirrored um, vanity tray and I put the succulent plant on the other side and now I'm ready to make my latte I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational and I really would like to know whether you like the style 1 or style 2 or how I kept it eventually at the end. Uh, please leave a comment below let me know and if you really like what you see and if you're not subscriber already please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more and until next time my friends bye bye. Today I'm getting my coffee station ready for fall so join me after the intro to see all the three styles I prepared for you. Hi everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're all well and enjoying your Sunday so far and if you're new visiting my channel for the first time hello my name is Shule and I really love my home decorating it uh, coming up with DIY projects especially if I cannot find what I'm looking for in the shops I live in England love art love decorating love creating and I most of all love uh, creating relaxing as well as inspirational videos for you to enjoy so in today's video if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel for more of these videos and if you've been with me, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Thank you so much for all the love, all the likes and all the comments. When I was in Turkey, I've seen this cutest thing and it was perfect for my coffee station and it was extremely inexpensive, only a couple of pounds worth of Turkish money so it had to come home with me. I DIY'd this last year and it's two-faced and I will be using the Hello Fall for this coffee station. And 
this one was from a pound shop in Japan, Tokyo, when I was visiting my son last year, and I spray painted to go with my deco, and it's perfect for this coffee station. And this little pumpkin I DIY two years ago, and now many of you really love this one. I do as well, so I decided to use it as the colors perfect. Love pumpkin spice, so this syrup coming out of the cupboard and I'm going to have it again and I bought it last year from HomeSense and they do have really long shelf life. This candle I bought last year from HomeSense is perfect for my coffee bar. It smells gorgeous even though I cannot use it because I don't want it to finish but it really smells like pumpkin spice latte. This one was originally orange and I spray painted to two colors. One was acrylic and the other one was shimmery and it is beautiful. And I'm just going to put it on top just to add some greenery to my coffee station. And you've all seen this one before in my coffee stations. I do love this mug and this was a gift from my friend Yonja. Thank you so much Yonja. I love my cup. And there you have it, this is style number one. I only light up for video or Instagram pictures and I quickly turn it off because I really don't want it to finish. So that's little trick that I use for this. I sometimes burn my candles but sometimes I just can't. This is one of them that I cannot. If you have special candles that you cannot burn let me know in the comments below so I know I'm not alone. I really love the color and you are going to see on another DIY video how I spray paint it. And this one is the second style and I had to use my other cake stand or cookie jar from home sense both of them and i just rearranged everything that i had and these are the leftovers from star number one so this is star number two For the third one I tweaked it a little and I'm using this gorgeous purple mirrored frame from HomeSense and I did this DIY pumpkin spice one last year probably you've seen it and it still goes perfectly uh, coordinated with my coffee station. As my cookie stands are not airtight, I always have to use uh, individually wrapped items and these ones are from Lidl.
I will be revamping my coffee station for fall again at the end of this month for a collaboration so you have to revisit me uh, to see what I come up with because I'm not going to use any of these and it's going to be totally different and I have to do a lot of DIYs beforehand as well so it's definitely must watch so don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified so was it style number one two or three which one was your favorite don't forget to let me know in the comments below and i'm just going to make myself a quick latte pumpkin spice latte before i sit down and edit this video so i can upload it uh, on sunday today so you can watch it for inspiration I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own coffee station. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more. And until the next video, my friends, stay safe. Bye bye. Hi everyone, I'm participating in yet another challenge today and it's called Refresh a Beverage Station Fall 2018 with Bambi DIYs, John Brody and Tommy Roberts. I will link their channels down below in the description box. I love candles, fairy lights and loads of sparkle in my decor so this corner always have these elements whatever the season. These cinnamon swirls are from IKEA and they really are my favorite. It goes really really well with my coffee. I keep this pineapple and refresh its content with essential oils to top it up so it always smells beautiful. LED pumpkin is from Home Sense and the candle is from Home Bargains. And this is the summer version of this cornered vignette. Autumn look looks really cozy and today is only 9 degrees outside, it's September the 23rd and the heating is on. This is my tea maker kettle and I'm originally from Turkey and this is one of the items that every Turkish household have, whether it's electric version or the stove version. We use loose tea leaves for this tea maker and put it in the basket in the pot and when the water boils we add to the teapot and let it brew for a while. I bought this tea maker from Turkey, obviously I had to match the color and I'm using adapter plug for UK. My husband is a bit obsessed with teacups, every year he buys a new design and this is traditionally how you serve Turkish tea. And this particular one is my favorite because of the bottom, it looks beautiful. I don't keep everything on the worktop as I don't like the clutter but these are called cezve and we use them to make Turkish coffee and in a minute my husband is actually going to show you how to make a Turkish coffee. These are the traditional sizes that we use but my husband likes to use a bigger one. Unlike my husband, I am an instant coffee kind of girl and for fall I like my coffee flavored. And here's how we serve the tea. Now I will show you how each of us make our coffees, first made, 
making my instant coffee using maple syrup from Canada. My son's girlfriend brought it for us and with lacto-free milk. I switched to lacto-free lacto -free lately and I'm really happy. And then my husband is going to actually demonstrate how he makes his Turkish coffee. You need grounded coffee and cold water in the measurement of the cup that you are using and one or one and a half spoonful of coffee and if you like sugar he likes his sugar so he adds brown sugar onto it and he lets it simmer for four minutes before he actually mixes I don't understand why I normally mix it straight away but this is his way so I'm not saying anything and I timed him after he mixes it it takes about one and a half more minutes before it starts boiling the secret is you don't let it boil as soon as it starts bubble up it's time to actually pour it down so this is exactly what he did I record it for you so if you attempt to make it this is how it should look like and another secret of making successful turkish coffee is when you're pouring you're not supposed to actually burst all the bubbles you have to keep the uh, froth of the coffee i hope you enjoyed the video and find it inspirational if you did please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified on my next video and until next time bye bye